Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I'm making sort of a Southwest version of scalloped potatoes. I'm using some leftover ham that I have from Easter, some cheese, and you guessed it, some hatch green chili. This is gonna be so creamy and delicious, and it's just perfect for any gathering. If you had a holiday ham for Easter, chances are you have a lot of leftovers like I do. So I've been making ham and cheese omelets. I've of course been making ham sandwiches. This morning I put some pinto beans to cook in my crock pot and I just dropped the ham bone right in. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna add this wonderful flavor to those beans as they plump up and cook. So don't ever throw away that ham bone because it's perfect for soups and for broths and especially when you're making beans. But right now I'm gonna be using some leftover ham to make what I'm calling Southwest scalloped potatoes. And for this, you're going to need two and a half pounds of russet potatoes, three tablespoons butter, three garlic cloves, I've got about a cup and a half of that ham and I've got it all diced up, but you can use more or less, it's up to you. I've got half a cup of hatch green chili. This has been roasted, peeled and seeded and I just chopped it up. You can find it uh, in the grocery store in cans, you can find it in jars, sometimes you can even find it in the frozen section. I'm just fortunate enough to have a freezer full of it. I've also got two and a half cups of heavy cream, three tablespoons all-purpose flour, salt and pepper to taste, half a teaspoon red chili powder, and three cups of shredded cheddar cheese. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm first going to peel the potatoes, and then I'll slice them into thin, round slices. For this, I'm using a mandolin, so I get consistent, even slices. But if you don't have one, just use a knife to slice them about a fourth to an eighth of an inch thick. The trick is to slice them as evenly as possible so that they cook evenly. Next, I'll melt the butter in a saucepan over medium-high heat, and I'll add in the diced ham, the chopped green chili, and the minced garlic. I'm just going to stir as this cooks for a few minutes. This already smells amazing. Now I'll add in the flour and I'll stir for just a bit longer before I pour in the heavy cream. Give it all a good mix and then add in the seasonings, the salt and pepper, and the red chili powder. You can see how this makes a nice brew. To it, we can now add about two cups of cheese, reserving the other cup for later. Just continue stirring until the cheese melts into the sauce. Once it's nice and smooth, take the saucepan off the burner. Then quickly spray a nine by 13 inch baking dish with nonstick cooking spray and begin placing your first layer of potatoes in it. Pour half of your chili cheese sauce on top, sprinkle some cheese, and continue repeating the layers until you run out of potatoes.
When you get to the final layer, hold off on adding cheese on top. Just cover with aluminum foil and bake at 375 degrees for 40 minutes. After the 40 minutes, we remove the foil and now we add the remaining bit of shredded cheese. If you have fresh parsley, go ahead and sprinkle that on, but that's optional. It just looks really pretty. Put it back in the oven uncovered and let it bake an additional 15 to 20 minutes. Wow. I love how beautiful and bubbly and golden the cheese is with the bits of the ham peeking through. It is so beautiful, but believe it or not, as great as it looks, it smells even better. I'm gonna let it cool for just a tiny bit and then I'll go ahead and serve myself. But meantime, I wanna check in on the beans that I have cooking. These are coming along nicely. They probably have about an hour of cooking time left. But when it comes time to add the salt, which I typically do in the last half hour, I'm going to scale way back because there's a lot of meat on this ham bone and ham is very salty. So if you do make these beans using a ham bone, you might wanna be a little careful when you're adding the salt, just go a little less than usual. And just so you know, I'll go ahead and share a link to how I cook beans. It's actually my video on how I make refried beans, but I also show how I cook pinto beans and uh, that may help you out as well. But these are coming along, they look great and they're gonna taste fantastic. All right, I think I'm ready to try this. so good. All right, let's give this a shot. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's still too hot, but it is so delicious. If you like um, a gratin potatoes or just regular scalloped potatoes, you will definitely love this version. Just think of it as a creamier, cheesier version with the ham and of course the hatch green chili. And the garlic really comes through as does the red chili powder. It's just a great combination. I really, really think you're gonna love this. And it's a great use for leftover ham. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you're using leftover ham from Easter. And also let me know what else you do with your leftover ham because I could sure use some tips. Anyway, I hope you make this. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my recipes. I also invite you to follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours. Mm -hmm.